What is going on everybody? Matitude22 here today with a brand new figure review. Today we are looking at the Star Wars Black Series Qui-Gon Jinn figure. So start off by looking at the packaging. You can see it says right up at the top Star Wars the Black Series. Nice little portrait of Qui-Gon Jinn right there. It's the name right there. Not a lot going on on the side. He is figure number 40. On the back, you get a brief description of Qui-Gon Jinn right there. If you want to read that, you could pause this video right now. Another portrait. Star Wars The Black Series on the top. Number 40. Mm, not too much on this side. Basically, well, basically says his name in little print and then bigger print. On the bottom, some reading and the barcode. And that's pretty much that. Before we rip into this i just want to take a minute to say if you haven't already hit that subscribe button if you do let me know in the comments leave me a comment say matitude i had i subscribed to your channel so then i will know i will head over i will hit that subscribe button on your channel that's right this is what this is all about making connections making connections that's what it's about let me know leave me a comment tell me what you think about this figure Tell me what you think about the reviewer. Even just tell me what you think about that movie. I know The Phantom Menace, a lot of people don't like it. I kind of liked it. I think I liked it better than the other two. I don't know. Maybe. Hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. Let them know. And we will crack into this in one minute. Alright. Whoop. We're off to a great start today. Now looking at Qui-Gon Jinn, I really like this figure. He feels bulkier than the other Jedi, like the Obi-Wan or the Luke Skywalker. Am I missing anyone? I don't know. Not the old man Obi-Wan, but the, the younger one. I think it was from Episode 3. He feels bulkier, like he's got some more weight. I like that. It does help him. Okay. It does help him stand a bit better. Yeah, so it helps him stand a bit better. I like it. Looking at the face, I do think this is a fairly good likeness of Liam Neeson. And don't have too much complaints about that. The hair, not a lot going on. It's st pretty standard, pretty brown hair. But it, it, overall, it does look pretty good. The clothes, I like. Looks like there's a lot of... There's a lot of... Uh, well, they're kind of more an off-white, like a darker white, but there's a lot of, like, dry brushing going on, so it looks, like, kind of sandy, like, maybe dirty. I, I like that. I think that's a nice feature. And they all look, they look pretty good with the ruffles, a lot of the nice texturing, so all in all, that's pretty good. I like the belt. They really went out of the way with the paint. So you can see, like, there's some gold paint right there, the silver. This part is painted separately. A lot of those little like rivets, whatever you want to call them, they're all painted silver, so they're all painted in nicely. I do like that. This part is painted nicely. The pants are an, are a different brown, more a standard brown, but all in all, they do look okay. And the boots, not too much going on with the boots. You can see the straps; they all look pretty good, but no paint there. But I guess I guess boots are boots, so I don't mind it too much, but. It is what it is. They do look good, but no paint going on there. So, looking at his articulation, the head moves side to side. Shouldn't have a problem with that. As you would expect, his head he does not look up, but he does look down pretty far. But I don't know if you kind of move it down. You can see it kind of doesn't look as good as it should. Like if you were like if you were looking down and you had hair like that your ponytail would just kind of fall and it would be right there. So it kind of looks like that. Maybe this is just me. This could be just a nitpick. Maybe I'm just nitpicking, but that is something to think about. But not that you're even going to have him pose looking down over anybody. For the arms, your standard ball peg for the arms right there. And it moves out pretty far. Of course, it rotates does swivel at the elbow and he has a single jointed elbow 
which gives you a pretty good range of motion like I think that's not too bad wrist as you would expect it does rotate and that's about it wow is this supposed to be like that is mine just stiff I guess no hinge okay no wrist pivot wow waist twist works pretty good and with the fabric like with the clothes it looks pretty good it doesn't cut off too too much so all in all I like that standard double ball peg for the hips unfortunately this piece does inhibit the articulation somewhat but you could still get it pretty far forward when you're going forward it does kind of move so that's pretty good but yeah so you get a pretty good range of motion on that and back single jointed no nope, double jointed knee my bad and again you get a pretty good range of motion on that i like that it seems like they're definitely definitely uh some of the other like the obi-wan didn't blow me away but definitely i'm liking this this means he might be one of my favorite black series figures the ankles do hinge back and forth and they do rotate so all in all pretty good there now looking at his accessories he comes with the green lightsaber i do like that a lot and he holds it pretty well get him holding it like that well, if you want to get him holding it a little better like that it works good the other hand and he does on the belt there's a little clip right there i mean you would obviously take the blade out but just for the sake of the video i'm not gonna do that but you could see that Oh man, it's hard to do on camera. There you go, but you can see it does clip on there pretty good. Obviously, you take the blade out. He comes with also a alternate hand, a a force hand. I think that's a force hand, or I don't know. And that should pop out and just pop in and. That works really well too is that like a force hand you know what it looks like it looks like he's doing that uh looks like he's doing that thing where you're like you know you get your buddy you get your buddy to look down and then he looks and you're like you're doing that pose and then you punch him do you guys remember that i remember that that was a big thing when i was a kid so that's 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 what that kind of makes me think of but overall i am definitely liking this figure and i think he's worth a pickup i think he'll compliment that Darth Maul very nicely if we get a younger Obi-Wan you can kind of recreate that scene or fuck it you can just fudge it and use the Obi-Wan from the third movie I don't care I'm not gonna tell anybody I'm not gonna tell anyone do that but overall pick this figure up you'll be happy he's pretty good he's definitely better than the Jedi he's got some more weight I like this and I hope you guys like this video Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Let me know what you think of the review. What you think of the figure. Hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Tell me in the comments. Let me know that you've subscribed. I will go and then return that favor. And I will subscribe to your channel. Making connections. Making friendships. That's what we're all about. And I will be back next time with a brand new figure review. Thanks for watching.